<laughs> On that note, we are slithering into the kitchen to see how Clem whips up a culinary must-try with just six ingredients. And who knows, breakfast will be served for the snakes as well. Trust us when we say you're going to want to try these six ingredients. It's salmon burritos with a cheesy, spicy corn salad on the side. Oh, yes. And if salmon's not your thing, maybe beef or chicken mince will go down just fine and you will enjoy it. And the one and only Chef Clem Pedro is in the kitchen to show us how to make this. Clem, this is like a treat. Yes, it is a treat, but it's for a reason. Okay. I have never in my life received so many DMs from people's grannies about meal solutions. Okay. People are like, I'm struggling, I'm actually skipping dinner and eating cereal because I'm getting caught out by load shedding, not being prepared, oh, schedules no. changing. What are some of the solutions? And I've got, I've got, I've got it all. This is perfect because, yes, you're right to mention load shedding is a yeah. serious problem for so many of us at the moment. We want to make sure that whatever meals we've got, we can do quickly. If you get home 15 minutes before it goes off, this oh, you can do. Got right? you. Mm -hmm. So let me give you my instant solutions, the ones that don't require you to do anything. Okay. Okay. Woolies have come, like we know the Woolies Ritties. If you haven't tried the Woolies Ritties yet, they are amazing. Oh, yeah? They come with a writer sauce. It is magic, okay? They come with a sauce already there. Uh, yes. Okay, so this is yeah. perfect. That's done. Perfect it's done for you. Love okay. That. We also have the chicken burrito bake. Now, this. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this is, it, I think it feeds a family of four. Oh, okay. Brilliant. It feeds a family of four. This is Let crazy. me be honest. Yeah. Consider me a family of four. Just you. <laughs> this Just is you on your own. It's so addictive and it's so good. And yeah. the, what I love the most about it is even though these are ready meals, yeah. it's all the exact Willie's quality in the meals. I love that. So you're that. getting it so all. You are getting all of that. I like that. That's yes. So let's. We're gonna. Family of four. I am family of. Consider me. <laughs> I identify as, as family a of family four. of four. Okay, so. I'm gonna stop putting this together. We've got another amazing meal right now, right. and it also takes about 15 minutes to put together. Yes. We can actually do some cooking now. Fabulous. So, I'm gonna ask you yeah. to start working on the corn side of the dish. All I'm gonna right. work on the salmon burritos. Okay. You're gonna do our cheesy grilled corn. All right, so cool. super you simple. Like You've got some creme fraiche in front of you. Yes. You've also I got do. some hard cheese. Oh, You're gonna mix those two together, mm -hmm. and that's gonna basically be. Think of it as the glue we're going to put on the outside of a grilled corn. Oh, yeah? And then we're going to put some of that beautiful Mexican um, seasoning on the outside. Oh, stunning. The Why? Ooh, the flavors. The flavors. The flavors. Okay. Clem. So, um, I love the creaminess of this um, uh, uh, um, cultured cream. The cultured it's, cream. It's really yes. good. You can tell this is quality cream. It is delicious, and mm. I love using that for um, when I'm baking, for um, savory recipes, sweet recipes. Uh -huh. It is so versatile, and I, I love using it. It's got a slight tang in it. You know how we always put, like, lemon over food just to brighten the flavor? Yeah. It's got that slight acidity in there. Like, I call it tang. It's not acidity. Yeah. And it just makes food pop. It lifts. It, it lifts. lifts it raises yeah, that's you it. up. Mm, so, I love that. Okay. Corn's on the grill. Yeah. I've got my salmon, and I've just taken it out of the box a little... Like, what about an hour ago? Yeah. It's still a little hard, and that's perfectly fine. Yeah. It's okay. So you can already go with it, hard as it is. Yes, it's because, perfect. you know, have you ever, like, mom says, Tabiso, yeah. take out the chicken before I get and home. Then and Tabiso's mom gets home, and then he's forgotten. I've forgotten, and then I have to, like, defrost it in the microwave three minutes before she arrives. Then it cooks. South Africa, this week on Culinary Hotline, we'll be talking about dangerous food practices like putting your frozen chicken you in the that. microwave. You don't do that. You should never do that. Salmonella for everyone. For everyone. Oh, my. Well, th thank the Lord I'm still alive. Thank the Lord that <laughs> is still with us and it's wow. a miracle. But okay, yeah, you cool. don't, 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 right. don't worry about that. We got you covered. And this then is what good happens from then? frozen. Okay, mm -hmm. so once it starts getting a little bit of color, we can hit it with more of our mild Mexican seasoning. We, wanna, we don't, don't want to blacken it, but we okay. want to give it a nice spice crust. Okay, mm -hmm. that's looking beautiful. I'm you guessing can... that we need to get Hoy, some zest go for it, go for it. If, if I can ask you, you can start actually rolling Ooh, your corn yes. in, that, in that mixture, and then mm. you can do the sprinkle. Stuns. I'm going to do some of these beautiful tortillas, mm. and just to get that straight into a pan, I want to get like a nice crust on this. I want some serious flavor on there. Mm. Other solutions are also really like Grant Heinz is not here right now, yeah. but will he come through with a plant based, like you have no idea, yes. ready meals? Those alternatives, they are alternatives. so good. Also, me kind of like leaning to the healthier side. Now yeah. I'm doing all the carb flavor range 
everything's there. That's great. And you can still have them all and enjoy by yourself oh, as a sure. family of four. four. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is looking good. Mm -hmm. I love what you're doing there. I like it you're ah. being, you're not being like shy with it. No, Get you that have flavor to be on generous there. with okay, it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice, so we go to our beautiful toasted tortilla. Mm -hmm. Hit it with a piece of that salmon. I'm gonna hit it with a little more of the seasoning. I just love the seasoning so much. And I'm sure it adds so much to it, right? Not it adds a flavor. layer of flavor, yeah. but not only that. Texture. You can cut, I like the, the texture's on there. A little bit of shredded cabbage. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And cabbage is really great. I feel like we don't utilize it enough. No, cabbage, cabbage is... is an underrated girl, and I don't understand why. She is, she does the most. She okay. does a lot for us. Some coriander, because G's mm -hmm. not here today. <laughs> and then we got some pickled pink mm. onions. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why you can't still get maximum flavor, even though you only have 15 minutes to cook, and this no, is how you do exactly it. it. Have you and I'm gonna you get do? some of these. Get, get, it, on the, the, get it on there, is it oh, yeah, I mean, look at that. The colors already are just saying, eat me, you know you want to. If you want this recipe inspiration, go on to woolworths.co.za. All of the ingredients, you're going to find them there, as well as a step-by-step -step guide how to bring all of this together. But also, get to experience and see so many of their other convenient and easy to make, uh, uh, um, you know, tricks around mm -hmm. load shedding mm -hmm. or other times where you haven't got that much time. But if you missed any of the steps involved in making this, what we've just done now, I mean, yes, Willie's made most of it, but here is a quick recap for ya. Ooh. Yes, thank you.